In this video, Dr. James Dobson teams up with Dr. Joe McElhaney to give you the information you need to make wise choices. Let's join Dr. Dobson now as he prepares to unmask the myth of safe sex. Well, the most common diseases that are uh, seen in this country are the two diseases, chlamydia and HPV, or the human papillomavirus infection. Chlamydia. Uh, but then herpes, congenital syphilis, uh, AIDS, uh, herpes. Chlamydia, women particularly. Chlamydia. We have just innumerable other diseases that many of them people haven't even heard of. If anyone has sex outside of marriage with someone who's had sex before, and some others from some mucus that might be left on a toilet seat or things like that, they will almost always get a sexually transmitted disease. And AIDS, for you, if you get it, is a death sentence, period. Well, when you're talking AIDS... It's very likely that I'll get AIDS sometime before I quit practice. You really have faced that? Oh, sure. What's that do to you? Uh, in men, uh, it causes little bitty warts that frequently aren't seen. I was talking to the urologist during this past month, and they said that usually they can't see those, those little warts on men very well. And it's because men's external genitalia are sort of dry and they don't grow very fast there, but they're there. Uh, the little warts are, are bothersome. They drive women nuts. They come in, we use the laser, we use cautery, we use podophilin, we use uh, TCA, trichloroacetic acid, and freezing. And the reason we have all of these different treatments is because the solution for these diseases is not going to be in science ever. The solution is not in science, and don't ever start looking for the solution in science. It can help you if you have a specific problem temporarily, but it cannot cure the problem. You know, and I, I don't want to put all uh, the blame on the guys. We're being pretty hard on the guys here. But the, the other half of it is that women are more aggressive now than they've ever been before. I saw a, an advertisement on, on TV one day, and uh, there was this really sad-looking lady. I mean, if she didn't have uh, AIDS, she sure looked like she did. Think of the significance of that, folks. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate you being here. <laughs>